Yeah, Terry Jensen has one of the coolest designs in the entirety of the game. And it's also really good in PvP as well. So let's jump into it. Oh, Killen, hopping into the first battle, and I see this guy has their own Terry Destin. I'm not really too sure how well my team does against other Terry Destins, but hopefully it does pretty well. Okay, let's try and go for Marif lead and get some Bobs on the field. That is no Kamori though. Not the biggest fan of this matchup, but I can't really switch into my fish gun either because it has toxic type moves. So let's just take a hit. Okay, they actually go for the baffle. I do not mind that. They have got a light type blow, which is low pterodescent, but I think it's fine. And they go into Nova Days. Okay then, perfect. I get one layer of Babs down. I don't really want to take a hit from Nova Days low, so probably gonna have to switch out. The issue is, <laughs> I don't really have anything to switch into. I don't really want my to go down, so I guess we'll go Imperial maybe? Actually, I'm gonna get a little greeter. I was gonna pray it's Fire Breath. I think I can live a Fire Breath. If it was Boiling Preslo, I'm pretty sure I just died immediately. So I took a very big gamble, but now I can get a Terror Descent on the field and I mean, what is Nova really gonna do? Like, yeah, my range defense is lower than my melee defense. Don't really wanna take a range hit if I can avoid it, but uh, I think this is a pretty safe drudge. I'm at full health. I, I, I think I can go for this. Okay, well, I got the drudge off and it looks like they stayed in. So is it Draco? Okay, it's a Draco. Might got a little greedy. I'm not gonna lie, but I live, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's get this Novadeus out of here. Yep, yeah, just gonna go for the Hydro Slash. It isn't gonna like use any energy, and Novadeus is weak to it, so see you later. Now, we are pretty weak on health, like very, very low on health, but uh, if they actually go into their Your Soul, doesn't matter. It can't quick punch me. Uh, it can't go for Shadow Spirit anyway because I'm a light type and I'm immune to that, but a uh, quick punch also won't knock me out because I am the secret ability. There's a quick punch. No, 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 no. This is why I like mesmerizing over Illuminate. Although Illuminate is a little bit more manageable with the energy and you get a fire off my Muse. I love the mesmerizing ability, okay? It is so good. Especially in situations like that. So, <laughs> I can't really say anything bad about it. I'm gonna go for a Hyper Sting here. We could have gone for... Oh, it's actually Spinebreaker. I could have gone for a Hydro Slash. I just wasn't sure if it was like a, a ranged tank one. I'll take the um, trade though. We took out Nova Deus, the Eurosol, and we got Dokumori down to half health. I think that is definitely worth it. And I think here we could actually go into Fish Ghana and just fire off a Mudslide. Um, also, I'm not scared anymore about not clicking a water type move against Dokumori. So I, I think that's a fine trade. I could have also gone for a Parasitize to maybe get just enough health back to live a hit, but I don't know if it was really worth it. Anyway, there's my Mudslide. It will actually KO the Dokumori and get rid of the Poison Barb, so i love to see it. Okay, their Terra Distance on the field now. Not a big fan of that. Like, really, really not a big fan. And unfortunately, my Metal type is one shot. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, that is pretty bad. I think we just have switched into Imperior here and we can go for... I don't really want to batter it, so I guess I'll just keep going for Dark Surges. I think I should still outspeed it. Terra Descent even is at max speed at plus one. My Imperial is super fast and has boots, so I think we always go for a Dark Surge to weaken it. And if they one shot us, it'll be guaranteed to go down. So, yep, let's just Dark Surge it. Weaken it a lot. Maybe even just knock it out, but probably not. I don't think this is gonna one-shot it. And also a Shade Pearl. Okay, interesting. That makes it a lot easier for all of them to get a, a Drudge off, definitely. But it's fine. They actually critical hit me. Primal Slash, I, I, I will say, is fine on Terridescent. But I'm pretty sure Light and Ancient basically cover... Well, Light covers basically everything that the Ancient Primal Slash would hit. So, you don't really need it. And that's actually what I'm doing as well. I'm dropped Primal Slash for a little bit more coverage. Okay, then here, let's go back into Vishgana. Not entirely too sure if I'm going to be able to win this. Is Vishgana their actually actual last one? Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. Uh, pretty sure I can win this one. Pretty sure. I don't really want them to start going for Peace of Mind's low, so it might be worth me just switching out immediately into Marave. 
just so I can put on a little bit of offensive pressure on the melee side to try and get them to just knock me out instead of piece of mind spamming. Not a big fan of this. Stop it right now, okay? Stop it right now. The Shikana should outspeed me, so nice. We're gonna uh, make it use its tsunami. That'll actually cost a lot of energy. And now we should be able to go into Parasol. Um, tsunami, we resist. Frost Beam, we resist. If it's, um, I want to say Impifies, not Impifies. The my type move that uses your range defense. I forgot what it's called off the top of my head. But we resist that. The only thing that they have to hit me neutral is Mudslide. But Revelation might double in damage. Is Fish kind of faster than me? Oh, oh, I went for weight. Damn it, man. Damn it. That's fine. We'll get some damage on them at the very least. And yep, they can't one shot me. So even if they else beat me or not now. I get to just take it out and yeah, fall for it. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I like a little bit of mirror matching, okay? I like the little bit of mirror matching and the pull makes a lot of sense. I mean, I went for a more offensive approach because I want my um, Caridescent to hit as hard as possible, but also like running a health time lot or like some type of like pearl is also fine. Make sure that you're guaranteed to live a hit so you're guaranteed then to get the drudge off to just be super frightening because I mean, Caridescent doesn't necessarily need the extra damage Especially if you use it like later in the game. But I don't know. I just prefer the offensive item on it. Okay, hopping into the next battle. We're still using the secret ability mesmerizing set. Because that first battle didn't really include it that much, although it did its job pretty well. I thought, eh, we'll do two battles per set for this video. Why not? Okay, let's go for the Murray fleet again and try and get some barbs down. There's a Taishinu. I'm pretty sure people only use this Lumium to try and uh Bequeath some stats to a different Lumion. So what are you trying to sweep me with? I would assume maybe I forgot his name. Wrestlin, maybe. That does seem pretty pretty scary. Especially with all of its coverage and Rogasol that I just gave it recently. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Nullish Shower and then I'm gonna baffle it to lower its speed so it passes minus speed. So I don't have to worry too too much but yep getting a little shatter up for double layer babs not gonna get too greedy low now we're gonna go for baffle could go for metal blast to weaken it a little bit but nah i'm just gonna go for the baffle now yep we go for bulk up again okay three bulk ups is pretty scary do you mind stopping maybe it's not a bequeather maybe it's just taishin who just trying to get a lot of damage maybe maybe he is Anyway, let's actually go Imperior here, and I can actually provoke it, so no, it can go for Bequeath, or... Actually, I could also Barter it. Mm, if I provoke it, I'm trapping myself into Provoke. If I Barter it, a little bit better. See? Mm, yeah, I'll Barter it, I guess. I'll Barter it. Yeah, you get my item. You go for... Oh, oh Rageful Plushie. Okay, that was actually would have been really scary. And they go for the Bequeath. I should have provoked it, damn it. I thought they would get a little bit more greedy, but it's fine. So here's the thing. They just Bequeathed, and this Wrestling can't use any move without one-shotting me. I'm pretty sure. So they're about to lose two Lumions just for me losing my Imperior. Okay. Okay. I'm not complaining. I'm going to click Dark Surge low because I did um, baffle on them earlier, so they should be way slower than me, even if they are Boots. Maybe. Although, yeah, this just guarantees me that the wrestling goes down alongside of me. So, not gonna complain. A little confused. I feel like they probably should have tried to weaken my Imperial with their Taishinu before they bequeathed. But I guess they might have been scared about uh, the Barter, which is rightfully so. Well, we might as well go back into Marath here, and that is a Snagoop. So, yep, I am completely fine with this. The goop shouldn't be able to hit me that hard, right? Because I'm pretty sure I resist toxic and air. So, easy shatter again? Yeah? Okay, they actually go for gust. That's fine. But you see, I'm going to use shatter again. So, if you want to get rid of these bubs, you gotta use that again. So, I'm fine with this, okay? I am fine. Although, I can't go for shatter again. Do I just metal blast with the damage or I don't want to go for rest here? I think I can get away with a rest. I, I think I can. Hopefully they don't critical hit me because that would really, really suck. Nope. Yeah, it does like next to no damage, even at like minus one defense. 
love to see it. Yeah, let's go for another shatter. <laughs> okay, they actually go for the withdrawal this time into Ticlips. That's fine. I mean, yes, they are immune to shatter, but I have got Metal Blast. Also, Ticlips doesn't really do too much to me. I resist Dark. I'm immune to Lie. I resist Quadra Resist. Typeless. Oh, simple. It's going to take a while to get used to the simple typing still. Yep, Dark Surge. I do not care. So, uh, yeah, Marafe, you're kind of stealing the spotlight for my, um, Iridescent, you know? <laughs> you're kind of stealing my spotlight, man. Come on. It's fine, okay? I'm gonna go for... Okay, Reflective. See you later. I'm gonna go for Baffle this time. I could try and go into my Iridescent now. We got rid of Eclipse's shell, so it shouldn't be able to one-shot me. And we have incredible bulk either way. Like, yes, our range defense is nowhere near as good as our melee defense, but with our health stat, I think we can live one. Also, the Ticlips is one shot, so it doesn't matter what I go for. Um, and then the... What's the bird called? Why am I forgetting all of the Lumia's names? I just haven't really like, seen them, like, that much. Whatever the bird is... I'm, it's half health, I should just one-shot it and hopefully I'll speed it, unless it's boots. I'm gonna just basically pray. But yeah, Eclipse shouldn't one-shot me, does a lot of damage low. If it had the shell, I'm pretty sure that would have actually one-shot me or got very close. Probably would have just one-shot me. Anyway, we can go for Hydro. Could go for Parasitias for a little bit of a health back, but I don't think it's worth, like, what? Five health back for 55 energy? No thanks. What's the Snagoop! Snagoop! I was thinking of like Snuggulp, I'm like, Snuggulp is not the right one, that's a pre-evolution. What's the final one called again? Snuggoop, okay. Yeah, we just hyper sting. Hopefully it's not boots. It's not boots. Oh wait, I knew it was on boots, because I saw it click Gust and Jetstream earlier. I'm sleep deprived. It's 10am, I have not been to bed. <laughs> I have not been to bed. Well, here's Luminami. Now the issue with Luminami is, it does kind of hard wall us. I have to go for Parasitize, it's the only move I have to hit it, uh, although it's not really going to do too much, but hey, maybe I get like a nice critical hit and get just enough health back to live a hit. Frostbeam. Uh, that is definitely not going to KO me. Okay, nice. Let's go for another Parasitize land. I'm so close. If only I had like those one extra layer of barbs down. If, the, if that freaking Snagoop didn't get rid of my barbs, I would have just been completely fine. But no. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, Lake Critical hitting me. Now, you see, that was meant to happen, or I wanted that to happen, but the yellow way around. <laughs> uh, that's, that's not fair, man. That's not fair. Oh, well. Let's just wrap up the battle by just having Marafe, uh, just Dark Surge. Back to back critical hits. Okay, bro, you're a pod. You're, you're definitely just cheating, okay? Bro, turn on his hacks just because. Okay, another Shade Pearl as well. And <laughs> he just lives. What is going on, man? Okay, you're definitely repod. He's definitely stream sniping me. Definitely cheating. I'm just orient right on DMs. I've already given him the username. He's he's banned. Okay, straight up banned. So now me again. Does that actually knock me out? Nope. Okay, we're good, and they're out of energy. So now I can finally knock it out. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever seen a Luminami with a Shade Pearl, but it makes sense against a lot of people that like free to play because. The pearls on the arcades are like the only item you can get as a free-to-play player without doing a lot of battles. But you can't do a lot of battles very well without some form of item to get the better items or the items that you want. So, yeah. I, I can't say too much about the pearls. I mean, I don't really use them that much, although... I probably should start using more of them, to be honest. Okay, then. Hopping into the next battle. Now we're using the normal ability to illuminate, which is basically just giving it slush, which, after the illuminate buff, basically makes it the exact same base power as Hyper Sting, his signature move, just a lot cheaper, so we can spam a lot more moves. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, though. This dude has got a few annoying things. Sionite is one of them. Glissadia could be another... Ah, uh, because I don't have like any, any switch-ins for uh, Glissadia. So you're not, it's just really, really bulky. I doubt a plus one Hydro Slash will knock it out. And also Tronix is just annoying because if it has Light Speed Ray, I don't have Mesmerizing on this specific one. So great. Also, do not like this matchup. So let's get out of here. What the heck do I switch into, Lou? 
I'm gonna hard switch into my Asteros. I'm gonna predict a fire type move coming out my way. Maybe Boiling Press. Oh no, it just clicks Drudge. A uh, slop down. Actually, no, 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 no. Saving Steel is your hardest hitting move against me. Um, where's my outburst? <laughs> oh no, I haven't used my Astros or my Glossadia since the illegal move incident when I had Ice Hammer. I forgot to give it its move back. <laughs> um, okay. Oops. Okay, they actually do go for slop down. I think Saving Steel actually would have hit me a little bit harder, but not gonna complain. It's just unfortunate because now my boiling press won't hit it as hard as it would have. But that's fine. We'll go for another boiling press because we can take one searing steel, I think. Just barely. Just barely. Oh boy, that was kind of scary. I don't really want Astros to go down here, but... Yeah, I don't really want to sacrifice anything else, so... It's fine. And because Serenite is so weak... If they do switch it out and save it for later, I'm completely fine with that. Terradestin can now just get rid of it. But here, the only Lumen that I have that can outspeed it is Imperior. So hopefully we can just one-shot it without losing our Imperior as well. Okay, definitely I'll speed it. I mean, yeah, soon as a plus one, but I have boots. Basically plus one already. So yeah, I'm just locked into Dark Surge now. So they should know I'm boots now because of that. But I'm not going to complain. Okay, and they go into Obsidragon. This is a little bit annoying. Um, I guess I could go Marave. Actually, what do I do here? I don't really want Imperial to go down to an Obsidragon. I'd rather save it for maybe the Charonix. I'm not going to lie. Charonix seems a lot more annoying. So I think I'm going to go into my Marave here. They go for a Drudge. Okay, it's actually a Drudge one. I like to see the Drudge Obsidragons, even if it is just straight up worse than the Burrow one, but I'm not going to complain. We're just going to hit it with a Metal Blast, although they probably have Earthquake, right? Oh no, they actually go for a second Drudge. Okay, this Metal Blast is going to do a lot. I'm just letting you know, okay? I would love to go for Shatter, but it's not really worth it. Oh, and I critical hit it. Uh, not sure if that mattered. I'm not going to complain, though. I do not mind that. Thank you very much. And it's Stratosaur. Oh, actually, you're a little bit annoying for Teridescent. Uh, how am I going to get Teridescent on the field and start setting up? I have no idea. I have not a single clue. I guess we'll go for Shatter here, low. Just try and do a little bit of damage to the Stratosaur. And because it actually went for Magnify and not a Soul Burst, it might be Frail Armor on top of that. It is. Oh no. I, th I think it's fine. I'm pretty sure I can actually live a hit from it. And if it goes for Soul Burst now, because its melee defense got lowered and its defenses get even lower after its Soul Burst because it becomes completely offensive, this might actually just knock it out if I'm lucky. Okay, I'm gonna assume you're gonna go for Air Strike. Nope, Energy Surge. Ah, well, you see, dude, there's this one ability called Reflective, and most Marafes kinda run it. You didn't see Analyze. So, I mean, you probably should have realized. That's fine, though. We could go for a Nullo Shatter. I can still take a Nullo move. I could also go for a Wave. I don't really want to take two moves from a Stratosaur, you know? So, yeah, this is Shatter again. There's the Airstrike. Okay, that is the right choice. I was expecting that the first try, but I guess I just saw Green Arrow and went Unga Bunga mode. I don't blame him. I would also do the same. But yeah, even at plus two... This is still fine, because we should resist it. So it basically just makes it, like, equal to a neutral move of that power. So, yep, yeah, we'll take it. Strassol is down. I got three layer barbs up. Teradescent is looking prime right now. I just gotta get it on the field and somehow live one hit. There's Glossadia. Damn it. Click Draco Beam. <laughs> Click Draco Beam right now. Right now. I'm gonna baffle, okay? Click Draco Beam. Let's go. Don't miss. Thank you. Perfect. 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 And we got them to Whistler Shell. It does actually knock me out. It was completely fine. Because if it didn't knock me out, I got a baffle on it. So now my Terry doesn't outspeed it without even going for a drudge. This is best case scenario. The only thing that would make this suck is if they like, critical hit me with another Draco Beam. So please don't do that. Actually, no, no, no. 
Frostbeam should hit harder. Don't critical hit me, you're at minus two. It still does like a pretty good chunk for minus two. Glossadier is a freaking monster. <laughs> it is a monster. Okay, that's fine. We can go for Slosh. It does say resisted, but that's because it doesn't apply the type change onto it in the menus. It's after you click it. But yep, yeah, we got rid of Glossadia. And let me guess, is it freaking Charonix? Uh, I knew it. I think I can live a light speed drake because I'm not too weak on the. Uh, not, I'm not too weak. I'm not too low in health. So I think I can start going for parasitizers. Slosh makes way more sense, I know, but I don't want to really risk if it's Reaper or Prismatic. Not really worth it. So let's just go for parasitize. Get a little bit of health back from hitting it. And actually, no light speed drift. Nice. Probably a Nova Blastlin, right? Oh no, it's lost a loot. Oh. Interesting. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is this potentially a Dragodyne Raids Charonix? There's no way, right? Do Charonix actually run Luster Loot? I haven't really seen any run Luster Loot. And I got a critical hit, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Carry distance pretty good. Let's hop into another one with the Illuminate. See if I can fire off maybe a couple more slashes than just one. <laughs> oh, they go for the withdrawal. Is it Serenite? It's actually Cosmiar. Uh, that isn't too bad. If it's, uh... Oh, actually, if it's Bane of Haste, that would really, really suck. I'm gonna go for a Nullo Drudge Love, because I can parasitize and get all my health back. So, yeah. Please don't be Bane of Haste. Please don't be Bane of Haste. I am begging! That's fine. Psycho Blast shouldn't really do too much. That range defense drop low is really scary. I should probably start going for Parasitizers now, but I want the extra... I want a Nullo Drudge. I want to get even greedier. I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to start Parasitizing now, I think. This should do a lot of damage. It might not one-shot it, but it's a Cosmiar. Yeah, it's a Cosmiar. Super, super bulky, but I get health back, so it's not the end of the world. Unless it gets a critical hit. And another Rage Defense drop. That is actually... Insane. <laughs> that is insane. Let's go for another Parasitize line. Let's get all my health back. Hopefully this is enough to knock it out. Oh my freaking god, it just barely lived. Do I die now to Psycho Blasts? I think I just die. Oh my gosh, I just barely lived. That is insane though. Bro. I, back to back, range defense drop is already insane. But on top of that, you also got a critical hit. Oh yeah, thanks for my critical hit, you know, when they have one health. I appreciate it, game. I appreciate it. Like, great. That is so, so helpful. So helpful. Uh, I have got enough energy for... I don't have enough energy for two of these. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Um... Uh, Dokumar has, like, a little bit too much energy as well. I just have to... Throw off a move here. No, that is so unlucky, man. That is so unlucky. Are you kidding me? My, This was, like, perfect. I planned it out exactly how I wanted it. And, of course, I get freaking double range defense dropped and a critical hit. Like, what am I meant to do there, man? What am I meant to do? Okay, then, jumping into the sets, let's first go over the secret ability one. We're running 200 melee attack TPs with a brawny personality to hit as hard as possible. The 160 speed TPs with a nimble personality will let us outspeed everything up to a max speed Predagon after one drudge. The 68 energy TPs at level 50 will give us a grand total of 262 energy, which will let us use one drudge, two hyper stings or parasitizers, and then two hydro slashers. And then the 72 health TPs are leftovers, but it does give us a little bit of extra bulk. For the held item, I'm running a light essence to increase the damage of Hyper Sting, but any other offensive item like a different essence, shell, or even Palcus would also work. Then for the ability, we're running the secret ability Mesmerizing, which prevents the opponent from using priority moves, which is really helpful when we're at low health so we can't get picked off by them. 
And then finally, for the moves, we're running Hyper Sting as our strongest stab move, Drudge lets us set up to start sweeping, and then we have Parasitize and Hydro Slash as our best coverage options. Now let's go over the normal ability set. We're running 200 melee attack TPs with a brawny personality to hit as hard as possible, the 160 speed TPs with a nimble personality will let us outspeed everything up to a max speed Protagon after one Drudge, the 56 energy TPs at level 50 will give us a grand total of 260 energy which will let us use one Drudge, 5 slashes or hydro slashes, and then 1 parasitize. And then the 84 health TPs are leftovers, but it does give us a nice little bit of extra bulk. For the held item, I'm running a light essence to increase the damage of our slash, but any other offensive item like a different essence, shell, or even power cuss would also work. Then for the ability, we're running the normal ability Illuminate, which will change our simple typing moves into light type and give them a power boost on top of a stab boost as well. And then finally for the moves, we're running Slash as our strongest stab move, which after the Illuminate buff actually just makes it the exact same base power as Hyper Sting, its signature move, although it's much, much cheaper. Then we have Drudge, which lets us set up to start sweeping, and then we have Parasitize and Hydro Slash as coverage options.